the word technology is an ever evolving magic happened to the modern world. We hear a lot about the multitude of bad habits people adapt from it. Addiction is the most referred word we hear and experience in our day to day life with no age or gender difference. Keeping that as a major focus also when the world was savagely hit by the COVID pandemic, two university students in Georgia, Atlanta were working tirelessly to make a positive outcome with their very own technology. Vedan Pradeep and Zigao knew they can prove technology can enable people to break free from a negative habit loop and cultivate healthy behaviors on demand. The end product, of course, was a very successful app called Reframe, which uses neuroscience to help users to quit alcohol. Let's hear about their journey of success from one of its creators. Let's welcome Vedant Pradeep, joining us all the way from Georgia, Atlanta. Hello, Vedant. Welcome to M4TV hey, Australia with our viewers, and thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. That's good. What an exciting invention. Tell us more about Reframe and how does it work and how is it all started? Absolutely. So Reframe is an app that helps people quit or cut back on drinking. Um, so what we really understood, so, you know, we didn't actually start out with an app to help people quit drinking. Uh, we started out with an app for OCD and that's because I personally suffer from OCD. Um, sure. So we we had this you know we had this idea that you know when you are when you have an OCD attack like you have compulsions and when you're in, when you're in the middle of compulsions you don't really know what's going to happen you don't know how long it's going to last and we had this idea what if we could like you know distract people with games or, or like you know our visual like references like that might be a good idea to like you know basically cut short an OCD attack. Um, and with that idea, we went around to like different places, different hospitals here in Atlanta, and one of them was Emory. So an interesting feedback that we got from pretty much everybody we talked to is, hey, maybe this could help people uh, who have OCD, but this would definitely be super useful for somebody who has a drinking problem, right? Um, initially, we kind of, you know, just uh, didn't pay too much attention to that and kept going on. But we kind of heard that more and more often. So we were like, you know what, let's give this a try. So we started going to Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and other places, and we were, we talked to a lot of people, right? Like, you know, we didn't really have experience ourselves with it. Um, but when we talked to others, we kind of understood that there are, you know, similarities between people of OCD and people who have drinking problems. Like cravings are very similar uh, to compulsions in OCD. So essentially it became an app that helps people to like curb cravings, right? You know, when you uh, when you feel like drinking a lot, you basically, uh, you know, go into the app and press a button and it kind of distracts you. Um, and our idea was, you know, let's go to recovery centers. So recovery centers here have a massive relapse problem. Like 80% of people that come out of recovery centers, uh, well, they get back to drinking within a few weeks. And this was essentially going to be a way uh, for, to, you know, to, to help people stay sober for a long period of time. And uh, then COVID hit, right? Um, and, and all of a sudden we found that recovery centers were not that interested uh, in, in basically helping people prevent relapses. And that's kind of when we hit on the real problem. So we were like, okay, recovery centers don't want it, but the people there seem to, to care about it quite a bit. So we were like, you know, how about we go directly to people? And instead of just having like, you know, just the tools, how about we bring the entire recovery center in a package to people that anywhere can, you know, that people anywhere can access. And that's essentially how Reframe, the idea was born. So we basically bring together an evidence-based program, tools, progress tracking, and communities all in one place. Um, and the problem we were solving was this. So if you're somebody who has a drinking problem and it's not super severe that you want to go to a recovery center, or you're not wealthy enough to go to a recovery center, because recovery centers cost like, you know, tens of thousands of dollars a month. Uh, there's really not an option for you. And that's where Reframe comes in. Um, and, you know, uh, it started off with a couple of paying customers, which was actually our family members in the beginning. Um, and then uh, over the course of the next, you know, 10 to 20 weeks, it went from two to uh, uh, 2,500 paying subscribers. And that really kind of showed us that we were on to something, right? And right now we are well over 3,000 paying subscribers and we've helped Quite a lot of people quit drinking, and, um, and and this is kind of what I'm most proud of. We've helped save a lot of lives. It's a great initiative. What was the role of Create X in supporting your project? Yeah, so Create X was actually like a, 
uh, an accelerator program that's run by Georgia Tech that kind of you know that accepts. I'm not I'm not sure, sure on the numbers. I think it selects 30 to 40 uh, student-run projects from like hundreds of submissions, uh, and and it funds them. So it was we were still in school, we were still students, uh, and uh, we had this crazy idea that we could help people uh, with type 1 diabetes to come to, to detect hypoglycemia. So you know it was nothing to do with uh, uh, an app or anything to do with mental health, honestly. Um, there, you know, we quickly figured out that we were working on a problem that was uh, pretty much already solved, and that's when we really pivoted. But yeah, it, create, create X gave us a start, and, and, and those folks have been supportive all throughout. That's great. When you and CB were working on your ideas, did you get much support, or there was much criticism around? Ha. Uh, it's, you know, it really kind of, you know, it's all over the place, to be completely honest. Um, we did get a lot of support from a lot of people, That's without great. which we wouldn't, you know, have been here. Um, in terms of criticism, not directly. I mean, everybody was supportive of the fact that we were working on, you know, things that we were passionate about. But you know, I would say that things definitely were hard, right? Like, you know, it's it's a lonely road, and it's it's more or less uh, there's not really a lot of precedent, and and there's not really like you know there's not a predestined path. So you have to you have to make that, uh, I guess, luck for yourself in a way. Sure. Where is Reframe standing now? Or how effectively this app has been utilized and how do you promote this useful app? So people come to know there is help available. Right, so right now Reframe is sitting at like an you know, over 3,000 paying subscribers. Uh, and our data kind of shows that it's actually more efficacious than a recovery center. Uh, granted, the populations might not be the same, right? Uh, so right now, at one month, we have like a 50% quit rate, and over 70% of people uh, significantly reduce drinking. That is by more more than half. Um, and yeah, so like, and in, in, in terms of retention, our three-month retention is now close to 60%. That's a fantastic initiative. Thank you, Vedant, for sharing your experience and introducing Reframe to this side of the continent. Congratulations once again and all the very best. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.